Let's see if Cassie can do it. Ready? Yep. Hey everyone, welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is a rainy day, potentially. We hope we get some rain ransom. I hope not. I hope we do, because we need rain to make our garden grow. So this video is sponsored by Timu. Ransom even drug out something he got from Timu in the past. You want to show him that? This mini chair. So Ransom brought his mini chair out. He loves to set in it. It's just the right size for him. And we are going to show you some more stuff we got from Timu. But we have a problem, Ransom. What? See that chicken tractor right over your shoulder? Yeah. That one right back there? Yeah. Well, guess what? Whenever we were moving it downhill, it wasn't too heavy. But now that we're on a flat ground, I think we broke the rule that everybody breaks when they build a chicken tractor. We may have made it too heavy. But I think I've got a solution. What? I think I solved the problem. What? You just have to wait and see. So I'm going to take Ransom and Mazzy and Ranger to school and then, like I said, I've got to get to work on a solution for the chicken tractor and we're going to um, look at some of Cassie's birds inside there, give you an update on them and see how big they're getting, alright? Yep. You ready to go to school? No. Come on, you love school, right? Yeah, well I do have a test today. Yeah, they have tests this week. They have their, their regular state or standardized tests, some it's, kind of test. It's a state test. It's a state test, and it's a big deal. So, good luck on your test, buddy. So, the wind is still whipping and crazy outside, but that's not going to stop us from doing our chores. So, I'm going to head over to the chicken tractor, feed the chickens, and show you guys an update on them. They are getting so big. Cassie actually sold one of the death layer roosters. If you saw that over on Catching Up with the Walkers, um, she sold one because we had three of them. So, she has one more to sell. If you're in the market, you might let her know if you're local because uh, the first one sold pretty fast. And hopefully, they'll start laying soon. So we really want them to start laying so Cassie can start hatching out some uh, silver death layer eggs and start building her flock up. But right now, we have all the death layers and all of the American breast chickens together. And they're doing okay. There's just probably a few more in the chicken tractor than we would like. Um, so we'll be moving out the American breast in just a few days, but I'm gonna go over here. They'll be ready to eat uh, We don't put them on full feed because I think we've told you before the American breasts are a dual-purpose bird and Full feed can actually be bad for them because they can overeat All right guys you ready to eat Hang on. Let me get in there and get your food. <laughs> I know I know it's eating time yeah, babies. So one thing we do like about this coop is that you can stand up with it inside it with no problem. I want to give them this feeder. Usually if I fill it up about like this once a day, then they don't leave any at night. And usually in the evening I check on them and they still have a little bit of food. So it's about the right amount. All right, here you go guys. There's your feed. Everybody enjoy. Usually all the uh, death layers get together in one spot and the American breasts in another. We'll see how they sort it out today. They, they usually like to eat on their own uh, with their own kind, which I think is really strange because they're all chickens. Oh, today they're mixing it up pretty good. We got a pattern. We got one, two, one, two, one, two. Eh, come on, spread out a little bit. I am partial to the death layers. They're probably my favorite. Um, the American breasts are pretty too, but there's something about that, that white and that black making that silver that really it makes a pretty chicken. So all right, I'll let you guys. So everything with the chicken tractor has been working great. We love that we can come inside and we can stand up. And we don't have to bend over like we did on that trampoline. Uh, the only downside, and this is usually a common problem with chicken tractors, is that it is super heavy. So, it was doing okay whenever I was pulling it down the hill. You remember, we started it off way over there by the shop, and then we pulled it slowly 
over here to the end of the house and then our next move is actually going to be up here to the front yard so now that we're on flat ground and i can only imagine if i had to go uphill how heavy it would be so i think i found something that's going to help me out i hope it will work so i'm going to go and start getting that ready but while i do i want to show you guys what timu has sent us this time so take a look so a quick trip to the post office and guess what i got that's right, another big orange package from Timu. So if you're not familiar, Timu is an online marketplace that has great prices. Prices that beat all the other competitors, they usually have up to 90% off. So you can't beat Timu prices, that's the number one thing. So let's see what's inside. So we have some really cool stuff to show you today. Some stuff for the outdoors, some stuff for indoors. So I'm gonna start with outdoors because that's my favorite. We have these gardening tabs. So I got a couple different colors. You can write carrots or tomatoes or whatever you got going. You can put these right in the garden and you won't forget about what you planted because it'll be right there. Also for outdoors, we got Cassie a set of these chicken waters. So you can use any like five gallon bucket or anything, drill a hole in it and put that on it and that will turn it into a chicken water just like that. Also, she has several of these already and every once in a while she needs to replace some parts. So it's always great to keep some extra. So once the garden does get growing, we're gonna use these. Pruners for the garden, lightweight, easy to use, spring-loaded, and I just can't wait for the garden to grow. And the last item for outdoors are these new glasses. So when I'm cycling, or if I'm just wanting to go out and work in the garden, I do not want my eyes and suffering. So for inside the house, we have lots of items. These go on a stove top or any place that you have a break in your counter where you have little things dropping in. So it has a silicone edge there, you just push it down in there and it makes it flat all the way across and you don't have to worry about things falling. Then we have these bags we love to use whenever we start getting things out of the garden. You can put your fresh veggies in, corn, um, meat or different things and vacuum seal. And this is a refillable coffee cup so all you have to do is put your coffee in there for your Keurig and get you a fresh cup of coffee. And Cassie loves our little coffee bar, so I got her this new carousel to put Keurig cups in. So I'm gonna show you in a little bit what that looks like full. And with the Keurig too, we're always using these uh, charcoal filters. So this little filter uh, fits almost any size Keurig and filters the water out and we won't be out of those for a long time. And this is a multi-function knife sharpener. So you can see it has different sizes there, multiple functions for sharpening your knives to make sure your kitchen knives stay good and sharp. Absolutely love these. These are little magnets. Um, we use them in my room with our safe. I put them right on there and I can hang belts or anything from that. Magnets, they come in handy anytime you need to hang something. And these are little hat holders. So just a little sticker on the back that makes it sticky and you can hang that right on the wall and hang your hat off of it. We have so many hats. Cassie and I love hats, but we get way too many. So that will help and this will really help. So we have three of these and these are also hat holders. So I'll show you in just a minute how this works once I get a few hats in it. And the last but not least item, you guys know we have Highland cattle, so we got this little stuffy Highland. We actually had a subscriber send one that I think came from Timu as well. And we also had another subscriber send one. So this is our third one. So now we have three of these awesome little Highlands. If you guys like our Highlands, go check these out. You'll probably love it too. So if you've never seen it before, this is our little coffee bar, the Walker Coffee Company. So I put our new coffee carousel to use. So filled it up with pods. Also, we have our refillable coffee cup when we want some of our ground coffees that we have. So I told you I had a lot of hats. So this organizer holds 14 hats. So not only do I have that to be organized with, I also have my little sticky um, hat holders that are just one-offs. So I am completely organized. So remember, Timu always has free shipping and free returns within 90 days. So check out my link in the description for all the items that I shared in today's video. And wait, there's more. Timu has a special offer for you.
So if this is your first time shopping with Timu, they are going to give you 30% off your first order. All you have to do is use code SELL6874 and follow the link in our description. That's going to get you 30% off. They're already great prices. So to solve our problem with our chicken coop being so heavy that it's hard for me to pull it. I've done it every time. I haven't not been able to do it, but it's tough. So what can we do? A couple of thoughts was to get some tires and put them on the front of the coop so we could just take some of the weight off and then make it easier to pull. But the problem with that is that it may not um, be able to turn very easy whenever you're pulling it. So instead, I picked up at our local supply store a heavy duty trailer dolly. So I've been wanting one of these for my shop anyway because when I move my log splitter around, it's pretty heavy and I like to take it out from the back of the shop and bring it out here, hook it up to the pickup. Um, I've just always kind of wanted one of these. And so by the time you pay for tires, you basically put about 10 more dollars with it and you could buy one of these. So that's what I did. And uh, we're gonna try to put this together real quick. I don't know how hard it will be, but it does come in several different pieces. So I'm gonna get this put together real quick and then we're gonna go out and give it a try in just a little bit and see how well it works. So, so I know some of you may be skeptical and you have good reason to be skeptical because I have no idea if this will even remotely work or not, but I'm all about trying new things and seeing if something will work and that's what we're gonna do. So I got it finished. I'll show you guys how this works here. So we have this, uh, I think it's an inch and seven eighths ball. And basically just go up, lift up on your item, whatever it is you're gonna pull and pull it around. So what I'm thinking is if I can get right here and either chain or hook into that bar, uh, front bar on the chicken tractor, I can get it up off the ground using leverage. And then once it's like this, I can pull it back. So I don't know, is it gonna work? Maybe, yes, no. Put your thoughts down below. The kids are almost home. We gotta do some chores. And before this video ends, we are gonna test this out and see if it works. Whoa, who's home? Me. Um, what is this? What is that? What do you think that is, bud? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. What look is like, it? Does it look like something you could use? Uh. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Daddy got that to help move the chicken tractor. You think it'll work? Huh? It's a yeah. trailer dolly to use to trailer dolly trailers around. Like so you can hold it up like so, this and then push it. Yes. So I guess you could say Daddy got a dolly today. And you got a dolly. Oh wait, that's Easter rabbit, isn't it? Hey, come here. Let me see that haircut. Wow. Mama said you guys had to go get haircuts. Mm -hmm. I like it. Now you gotta go get changed. You gotta get changed? Did anyone come help me feed and uh, try this chicken dolly out? Yep. And Chicken tractor I'm, dolly. And I'm gonna push it around. Okay. There we go. So fast. Wow. So Ransom made me wait until he changed his clothes before I could go feed the animals because he said he wanted to push this and go with me. You like it, Ransom? Yep. All right. Let's go feed the goats. Ransom, you see where all the goats are at? Uh, yeah. Way out there. You want to see him come running? Goats, 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 goats. Goats, 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 goats. Goats. Oh man, Ransom's got to bring this in. Come on in. What are you going to do? Push it around? You got so dirty out there, girl. So Zena has been rolling in the cow manure because she has access to the new pen out there where the goats were at. Yeah. Oh, look at this kid. He got a fresh haircut. Yeah. Nice kid, I like it. Yeah. Oh, we got the boss moms in here. I call these the boss babes because they run everybody off that comes in. 
But all the goats are doing good. The birds are doing good. The calves are coming up over there. They know it's about eating time. They hear everybody getting wound up. All right, Zena. You're a good girl. All right, Ransom, you ready to take your trailer dolly out of here? Yep. All right, let's go. Back, Zizi. Back, Zena. Come on through. Back, Shelby. Back, Shelby. Just push that bucket. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Oh, good job. All right, Zena, we're gonna feed you too, don't worry. We'll get Zena fed. Here you go, baby. Is it hard to push? Hey, you gotta lift that thing up. There you go, that's better. That might make rows for us in our garden. You think? Think we could use that to make some rows for our corn? Yeah. I think it'd work pretty good. Yeah, Your son is uh, really into this trailer dolly. Yeah, what, why is he bringing it out here? He pushed it into the goat pen when we fed the goats. <laughs> I wouldn't let him bring it to the very back when I fed he the goats back there. Oh, uh, he loves anything he can push. Can you show you his new haircut? Yes. He's not doing the Euro hawk or whatever it's called now. He's doing a straight up mullet. He told the lady he wants a real mullet. So she only saved, did the very sides. Look, the. Turn sideways, Ransom. Turn sideways. Oh so, no. So usually he gets all this shaved. She only shaved this, and now this is going to grow out. So in the summertime. But he said, I want it short on the top. In the summer... Long in the back. <laughs> in the summertime, he can actually get a little longer hair back here. Well, I told her she had to trim that for now so we can finish out school. But as far as school going, what's the dress code at school, yeah. Ransom? Um, your hair can't be touching the collar. That's right. Or your, or your Bangs. eyebrows. Um, I didn't get. You got a wag bar and didn't share with you. Uh, these were sent directly to me. <laughs> Thank you. Mom. You didn't get it any. Mm. Woo, Mama's dusting us. So we're feeding the sheep a little early tonight and putting them up because we have church. And, and you want to hear something funny? What? Uh, today we have pictures at school for basketball. Oh, oh my leg! She gets mashed, you? What? Don't want. Here. Here, let Mama do it. Let Mama finish. Mama gets a little excited about feed. There you go. So we had basketball pictures at school, right? Yeah, basketball pictures. So I took squirt bottle, a comb, and a brush for the kids because it's halfway during the school and it's so windy so they could freshen up their hair. Well, I just grabbed the first comb I saw. Ranger comes up to me. Is that my comb? Yes, it's fine. I'll soak it in alcohol or something, but these kids are fine. I'm never using that again. You're going to have to take me to Dollar Tree and buy a new one. <laughs> so we need to leave early for church so we can go get him a new comb. Oh, Ranger. Ranger does not want to share his personal hygiene products or uh, anything that touches him. Is this mutton? Or is Mutton's the only one left with a tail. He's easy to tell, but it's about... <laughs> he's easy to tell. <laughs> he's easy to tell, but he's Wait, about to fall off. Alright, so these right here are the So, Ransom's not the only one that got a haircut. Let's see it. Ooh, looks pretty sharp. And I wish I would've got a fresh cut today. I'm jealous. Looking sharp, buddy. Thank you. You and Ransom. All right, you guys ready to go move some chickens? Yeah. Yep. Okay, we're gonna have to put them up since it's daytime. But I wanna show you my new moving device. If, oh, farm kids will always find a way to make it happen. Ransom knew <laughs> he was gonna get a ride sooner or later. There were already several chickens in here when we came out here. So now we just gotta catch a few more. Alright. Ranger's got one. Alright, hang on. Stop her in there. Don't run her up against the gate, boys. It's not latched. Help him, Ranger. Oh, 
Ransom got it. Good job, Ransom. That's a chicken pro right there. Okay, can you help him put it in? He's not quite tall enough. Okay, ready? Good job, Ranger. Get down and easy get chicken poo on you. These farm boys aren't scared of nothing. <laughs> and this is why we move them at night. Because they're already locked up. Nobody has to work up a sweat. There you go. Good job, Ransom. You gotta get those wings. Gotta get over the wings. Oh, you okay? Uh oh. Alright, ready, Ranger? Alright. Did you get some? Turn around. Show them your booty. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so I had to take the handle off. The handle's off. And now we got to do this, Ranger. Watch your toes. Watch your toes. It's got to be all the way up against it. All right. We slide the chain. So there's just a little chain down there. Can I do it? No, it takes, I got, it takes, still takes some pressure. Then you put your foot down like this. snag the chain was too close to the chicken tractor so I bought for ten dollars I bought a little hitch so we're gonna add the hitch and see if that works you think it'll work ransom I don't yeah. think so because it's too low it's all right we gotta give it a try put the hitch on ready steady You already moved them once. Okay. All right. You want to see if you can do it, Cassie? Yeah. All right. Let's see if Cassie can do it. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. All right, Ransom. So, could you do that by yourself before? No. No way, huh? Ready? All your weight. All your weight. All your weight. All your weight. Feet down. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Oh, good job. Yeah. All right, I think that's all we need to move today. Now just, we can either un unhook it or just leave it here. Yeah. All right, Ransom, you gonna let him back out? Yep, can I just drop it? Just drop it, don't let it hit your toe. All right, ladies, you're and free. Gentlemen. And gentlemen, my bad. So I got three people wanting this other death layer. I told them it's first come, first serve. Okay. I guess they were. Ransom, somebody sent you a big old box of underwear. Look inside. I need to sit this on the ground. Set it on the ground. What is it? Yes! Yes! I thought it was underwear! Yes! What is it, Ransom? I've pinned this on before at church. <laughs> Somebody put it on! What is it? It's catcher's gear! Catcher's gear! <laughs> Somebody put it on! Ransom, what do you think? Good. Turn around. Oh, this is. All right, Ransom, all the gear's on. You want to show us how you're going to catch him? Yep. Oh, I can't bring it down. <laughs> what? I... You probably just have to break it in. Mama got the smallest ones available. You can, you can get on your knees if you need to. All right, there you go. Looks like a catcher. The chicken tractor is so much easier to move now. I'm really thankful we went that route. I knew something had to help because it was just way too heavy. And I know that's a common thing. I, I knew when we were building the chicken coop part, it was getting heavier and heavier. I thought it would be a problem and it was, but we should be good now. So don't forget about Timu. If you want to save 30% off your first order, use code SELL6874 and the link is down in the description. So we hope that you guys have a great day. God bless and we'll see you next time.